Okay, I've been looking for an example of uh, a good example for using the zone system and the visualization that comes with it. I mean, that's the whole purpose of the zone system. It's, it's not just to capture what's in front of you. Uh, that's easy enough. It's to help you capture an image, to create an image that a non-artist standing next to you wouldn't have seen um, by bringing out the highlights or compressing the highlights, whatever is needed to create a new image. Now, I'm not going to pretend like this is some great artistic expression. I'm sorry I didn't have time to schedule a model to come out and make nude snow angels out here for us, but it should be a good example of how to use the zone system, how to use the zone calc. So, I'm going to take two exposures. The first one, I'm going to just take a straight shot straight reading off of uh, the weeds out here and that's going to be really close to about f22 now I'm, I'm shooting the foma pan 200 i'm exposing it at iso 125 so that's going to be 125th of a second at f22 now i'm i'm going to do the calculations with the zone calc to try to keep the uh, the highlights in the snow and still capture the detail in these rocks that are leading away from us. So first thing I'm going to do is take a reading, the darkest spots that I can see out there. That's going to be about F8. So I'll put that in zone 3. Now if I want to capture the snow, that's going to be about F32. So what that means we're going to need to be, if you can see that there, if we uh, will shoot at f16, we're going to need plus one development when we get into the darkroom. So I'm going to go ahead and take those two shots, and then we'll compare the negatives after we're done processing. Okay, so we processed that in our SP76, and we do it a little differently. Rather than varying the time to change the density curve, we vary the concentration of the developer. Uh, so we processed everything at 7 minutes, 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and for normal development we use a concentration of 1 plus 14, and for the N plus 1 development we increase that to a, a 1 plus 11. So after getting the results, now we can look at it and see that there's definitely a difference. The question is how do we share that with you over the internet? The objective thing that we could do is, is take it to the densitometer. Now, even that's a little bit subjective because we don't have a solid, you know, large target to measure uh, in a real negative. But fortunately, since the images are virtually identical, we can measure identical areas or identical locations on that negative. And what we found in the shadow areas are within about a third of a stop of each other. The highlights on the N plus one negative are about one, one and a third stops brighter than they are on the the negative that went through standard development. So the next thing we did, we, we wanted to scan them, so we put the two negatives together on the flatbed, scanned them as one image. That may not be the most scientific way to do it, but it, it's a pretty fair representation as whatever the scanner does to one image is going to happen to the other image. Likewise in post, anything we, we adjust on the one image, we automatically adjust on the other. Now. Uh, the, the scans, are, I don't think, are entirely representative of the differences between the negatives. I think the N plus 1 negative, um, I think it shows more detail in the highlights than the scans actually reveal. Now, to be fair, I think you could make a good print from either negative, though I think you could make a better print and make it easier from the N plus 1 negative. So, basically our experiment worked. Um, our next project is going to be looking for uh, some real high contrast targets where we can experiment with some N-1, N-2 processing. Um, as always, we uh, like to hear from you. We, we really appreciate it if you can uh, post your success stories to social media. Uh, speaking of social media, two platforms that we're investing uh, more time and energy in now. Uh, one is Flickr, which frankly we thought was going to die a year or two ago, but I like the interface and user interface on it better, and it seems to be more geared towards what I'll call real photographers and not just people taking pictures of their lunch and uh, overwhelming us with selfies that we don't really care about. Uh, the other platform we are now a partner with is the Fotrio.com. They've got uh, some great forums, 
the galleries, uh, classified ads. You know, it's, it's really a nice community of uh, more, you know, more serious photographers than you're going to find on some of the other um, platforms. Uh, as always, um, feel free to contact us if you have any questions uh, or comments, and that contact info follows below. Also, hey, I forgot, almost forgot, sign up for our newsletter because any of the new developments, any new projects are going to be released on the newsletter, uh, on our email newsletter, before they show up anywhere else.